A father who lost his daughter under the care of a Utah boarding school for troubled teens is concerned it could happen again. That's because efforts are underway to reopen that same school that she was staying at, all under a new name. New specialist Mike Anderson is looking into why it's even up for consideration. Mike? Yeah, actually, Didi, you know, the whole plan is a new name, new license, but not necessarily new management. And this is why the, well, at least one father doesn't want the old site of the Diamond Ranch to open up again. Diamond Ranch Academy in Hurricane closed down to last September. Angry, frustrated, upset. Dean Goodridge is concerned those consequences could be short-lived. He says his daughter, Taylor, asked to go there from her home in Washington State to get help and ended up dying from a stomach infection that could have been treated after she was denied care. I don't know how he sleeps at night. Now Taylor's former caseworker, Adam Cheney, is listed as the new director of the upcoming Rafa Academy. He's also named in a lawsuit from Goodrich's family against Diamond Ranch. According to application documents, Rafa has a different address, but it's actually the old Diamond Ranch Parkway, now renamed as Hope Circle, a privately owned road. How could you open up another facility with your name on it at that same property where you knew she, where she died? Not only do the websites look the same, but mission statements from Diamond Ranch and Rafa Academy are seemingly copy and pasted from the old site to the new. And as to whether the new license gets approved, Utah's Office of Health and Human Services says they're looking into it. In an email response to KSL, HHS says the department takes the health and safety of those in our licensed facilities seriously. Our role in regulating licensed programs is to make sure programs are complying with administrative rules and regulations designed to provide a healthy and safe environment for those in care. Meantime, Goodrich says he'll do all he can to make sure it doesn't happen. They took something precious from us. And I did reach out to Adam Cheney, the uh, future director of uh, Rafa Academy, I, but did not hear back. And HHS, by the way, says with these applications, they review the history of the program, uh, prior participants, and the past conduct and actions taken against those involved. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you.